Oh hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at new releases, products that are coming any moment, products that have just come, products that are maybe coming soon. The, that that type of thing. So I'm going to be having a look at my beautiful friend Jess over at FYI Beauty and Trend Mood as well and looking at new releases that are coming our way and telling you why they are not for me, why I'm not buying them, why I'm not touching them with a barge pole. So first up and this is the Pat McGrath by Star Wars Collection. Never have I been more confused by a like release or like a, a you know a what do you call it a pre-release a heads up one of those when I saw this picture I was like oh okay I mean okay I didn't know that Pat McGrath was a huge Star Wars fan um I don't know much about Star Wars and I feel as though people are gonna like have my life for this because I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I don't think there's, I have no problem with it. I just want to put that, I don't dislike it. I don't have an issue with Star Wars. I just, it's just not, you know, particularly my favorite. I'm more of a horror, scary, thriller type person. But um, yeah, I know that lots of people do love and adore it. And for lots of people, this is gonna, I imagine people are gonna be just buying this who don't even wear makeup because they love the packaging. And don't get me wrong, the packaging, is delightful. I feel like having just bought Divine Rose that uh, the large eyeshadow palette is not like screaming that I need it. Um, it's not so much my colours as the two Mothership palettes that I own, five and seven. Um, the rest of it, again, I could take or leave it the gold lipstick bullets. One of those might squeeze past the post. I'm not going to lie to you. The rest of it, I'm just like okay with. I will say I do love Big Bang Theory. I know that's not the same thing, but they do like Star Wars too, you know. I don't know if I'm making it better or worse. I'm just going to stop talking. Next up, the Charlotte Tilbury Mystery Box. Now, by the time this video has gone up, I'm more than sure that that will have been and gone. Because it came out, I think, for one day only. I think it was Cyber Monday, which seems like it was three years ago, um, when she bought out her Mystery Box. Now, I did not purchase one. It was £150 for £300 worth of products. But it's one of these, I mean, mystery, the word should have given it away to you. You don't know what's in there. That's the mystery. That's what that means. I'm sure you know. You get, I think, 11 full-sized products, but you don't get to choose them. They could be anything, absolutely anything. And I own a lot of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. So for me, the risk that I'm gonna get lots of products that I either already own or have chosen not to purchase because I they're just not for me, like her eyeshadow palettes, a lot of her eyeshadow palettes just never grab me in enough to purchase them and I just feel like I'm gonna get at least one eyeshadow palette I'm gonna get at least two or three things I already own and at least a couple of things that I that I don't like or you know because that's just how a mystery box goes that it's never gonna be worth the money for me I don't I'm too much of a control freak to buy a mystery box that someone else is choosing what I'm spending 150 pounds on I'd much rather choose it myself just being honest even though I get more for my money I just want to buy my, I just want to make my own mind up. I just want to choose my own stuff, you know? I don't like the thought of just getting a box that I spent £150 on and no idea what's in there. Are you mad? No, thank you. Next up, the um, Jeffree Star, this new Jeffree Star highlight. I don't know. I don't know what, where am I, where am I putting that and where am I going with that, with that on? Blue, highlight, pink highlight, green, I just know. I, my highlight vibe is that I like wet, light, glowy, like, you know, just want to look like the light is just in my favour. That's what I go for. Blue on there. I don't want to be a smurf, even a, a beautiful glowy smurf. I I'm, I, no thank you, I'm fine, I'm good. The Jaclyn Hill collection. Now I get startled and alarmed when brands release limited edition things like this, like the Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, 
the Tarty Beauty, I know that wasn't limited edition, but it did have a bit of a stressful release because of just the anticipation and the love that everybody has for Tarty. It was like crazy. Same thing with the like the Jaclyn Hill. Now I don't know the numbers of people who are still, um, you know, trusting Jaclyn Hill cosmetics with their money, but apparently a lot. I mean, maybe she only released 10 of each, I don't know, but it sold out extremely quickly. I was watching my friend Jamie French um, having a heart attack on Twitter because she just couldn't get any of the things that she wanted because it was just all selling out and things were being taken out of her cart, which is just, I love it when that happens. The whole launch was very, very stressful. Um, I'm sure, I mean, I've seen lots of reviews. It seems to be beautiful. I watched Raw Beauty Christie's review of the whole collection. I think the loose powder that's supposed to be like, I feel like she kind of made her own version of the Longcom powder that she loves. And um, that looks very interesting, right up my street. But you know me, I can't bring myself to buy products that I have to pay a crazy shipping from the US and then pay, pay duties and taxes when it gets here as well. So that it ends up being double as much. And I just don't want the stress. I don't need it. I just, I'd rather go to Boots, to be honest. It's too much. It's too stressful. It would have all sold out before I could have got it. I'd have had to pay double to get it here. I just don't need that kind of, you know. I don't need it. Um, next up, these ABH empty palettes. I think I think they're a great idea, especially for artists. Um, I think they are beautiful. Love them. Wish they had a mirror in. I feel like that's a real um, mistake. Uh, hindsight. Uh, no, what is it? What's the word? A real missed opportunity. I don't know. Whatever. Mm. It's one of those. This, I apparently this is what um, Norvina herself uses for her empty shadows. And she just, like someone had said to her, why don't you release those? So she did it as a, a Christmas release. If I was someone who used a lot of singles anymore, I think these are great, but I would have preferred to have a mirror in them to make them really, really useful to me. But I just do not use singles anymore ever i don't really purchase them it's really gonna have to be something insane to make me buy a single because i just love a good palette i just do that's just where my heart lies i love the convenience i like the feel of them in i'm i like palettes and i don't buy singles anymore so therefore it's not for me but it might be very nice for you if you do use singles next up the benefit hydrating professional primer <sighs> I want to say I'm on the fence with this one, but I'm not. I don't, I don't, I mean, Mel, my friend Mel, just nailed it for this one. My, oh, my dog is barking. My Tatcha Silk Canvas that Mel sends to me, like she's like my, my dealer of Tatcha Silk Canvas. She keeps me just constantly topped up, constantly in supply of it. Um, I never have any desire to put another primer on my face. That's how I feel. So I'm like Mel, I'm not in the market for a primer. I've got my primer. That's the only one I ever want to use again. It's like it makes me an angel and I just love it. So I, I'm not really in the market for a primer. I wasn't a fan of the original Benefit Professional. I had issues with balling. It's just too matte and drying on my skin. I didn't love it. So it doesn't make me want to rush out and buy another one from them. So that's just going to be an easy pass. The Mario by KKW Beauty Collection. The whole collection is a pass for me. For the similar reasons with the Jaclyn Hill, I'm going to have to pay huge shipping. I'm going to have to pay taxes and duties because these people refuse to have a British stockist. And it makes me mad. I'm so sorry. You had to see that. But for that reason, anything like that, where I'm going to have to pay a lot more for shipping and for taxes and for duties and for the Royal Mail charge and all of the other rubbish that I don't even know what I'm paying it for, I'm really going to have to want to desperately have that item. I'm really going to want to desperately. And nothing about this collection hugely like leapt out and ripped my heart out my chest. It just was like, it's okay, it looks nice, it's sure, it's fine, it looks nice. The blush looks beautiful. Do I have 47 other peach blushes? Yes. So the rest of it was, was just very fine for me. It wasn't exciting. It didn't get my heart pumping like this. It didn't do it. Next up, the Fenty Trophy Wife collection. Now the original Trophy Wife highlight on deep skin like a, a golden 
god i mean there's just nothing it's glorious there's nothing better it's not going to look good on me it's not going to work on me at mm. all um so the whole collection for the same reason is going to look bonkers on me but on deep skin my life I just i want to see somebody with glorious deep skin jackie Ina, nima tang i want to see these women just covered head to toe in that collection but not me not myself that is just gonna be a match made in heaven for me it i'm gonna look like a statue because it's just not for my skin tone and i love seeing stuff that's not for my skin tone because it doesn't happen very often very often i'm like mrs average mrs everybody caters to so i really enjoy seeing products that don't cater to me because it's about time something didn't so there you have it that is all of the stuff that right now i'm not buying i'm not interested in i don't need i don't plan on picking up i'd love to know what you guys are not picking up if there's anything on my list that you do really really want to try that you are really really interested in we're allowed to feel differently that's the beauty and the joy of makeup i hope you enjoyed this video and i'd love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.